Well, this is just gonna be a quick little video. I just wanted to get the word out on this pen that I found because I've been looking for a tactical, tactical type pen for a while now. But one of the things that has kept me away from them, two things for the most part, is the price, first and foremost. $100, $130 for some of those pens is just crazy. You know, I carry, um, for work, I usually carry some smattering of drug pens. And I very often lose these things, but they're free, so it's not a big deal when I lose them and I just go back to the cup that I have from the conference where I pick them up and uh, I put another one in my bag. Not a big deal. But I've wanted to carry something a little bit nicer to the hospital, but refused to carry a $130 pen that I have some fear of losing. So in comes this United Defense pen. The other uh, issue with those, some of those tactical pens is that they look like crazy tactical pens. And if you're trying to go somewhere through like TSA with this pen that says Uzi on it or Smith & Wesson or Takedown or even Surefire if they know what they're looking at, you might be a little bit more likely to get hassled if they decide to pull your bag out and search it because they've got this pen with this big crenellated tip on it. And uh, they're going to say, well, what's this? Oh, that's just a pen. Well, why does it say Uzi on it? So... This one, all it has is right in the back here, the only writing on the pen, right in the back there, where it says United Cutlery. And just looking at it to the naked eye, you can't see that word. I mean, you can see the word cutlery, but you can barely read it unless you really strain yourself. Um, so on here, it, it's very well, I don't want to use the word hidden, but and, and even the word United there is kind of... A little bit hard to make out. So this pen I think is very nice because it would go under the radar as far as that type of thing goes. If you had to take it through somewhere where someone cared, um, it'll do better there. You know the idea with these pens is that you would use it as sort of a kubaton type weapon to, to strike someone in the neck or the eye or the arm or wherever. And you know, could you use, for instance, this Tigacil pen? Yeah, you could. I mean, you, that'd be uncomfortable. And this is a fairly big sturdy pen, although uh, it's plastic and it's going to break and if I'm going on a flight I don't want to have this big scary looking orange pen in my pocket not scary in the scary sense but just scary as it's a big orange pen so this one looks just like a regular pen if you're going to carry it around you know you could potentially be just like a business pen so very nice as far as that goes function of the pen one of the things that's also kept me away from some of these pens is that I hate pens with caps on them maybe I'm just lazy but you take your pen and unscrew it, unscrew it, unscrew it. Okay, I got the cap off. Now I got to put the cap back here. Okay, now I'm ready to write. Well, that's just too much hassle for me. I just want a pen that I can just, just go. So this pen is a twisty. And basically you just twist it and it's open. And when you open it, there's a nice little detent right there. If you can see it. Nice little detent that tells you you're there. I mean, of course, you, you can't go any farther. But, but it's very nice. And then when you close it, there is a definite stop so you know that it's closed. Some of these pens, when you open it, it just keeps untwisting until the pen is finally open. And you don't know when you're supposed to stop other than that the, the ink is retracted in. It does open uh, very easily, though, if you want to take it apart. And it takes just basically a, like a Parker refill. Nothing fancy there. It's a pretty comfortable pen to write with. It's... Uh, Construction-wise, 6061 aluminum. I'm honestly not very familiar with that, but the little bit of research that I've done says that it's just a good basic aluminum, general-purpose aluminum. So it's a nice lightweight pen. It's very tough. It's you know you're not gonna have any problems with it. Very sturdy. So if you had to use it in a defensive type role, just fine, I think. And if you lose it, not the end of the world. Fifteen dollars. So. Like I said, I just wanted to get the word out on this. I just came across this. Greg Elifritz at TDI actually uh, showed it to me with a couple of his other tactical pens that he carries. And uh, very cool. So check it out, the United Cutlery Self-Defense Pen.